Thank you for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get into a few recent earthquakes. I'll get into that ahead. The high seas in the Caribbean and even the Atlantic waters. I'll be tracking that plus a higher chance of rain. Now what's going on is a front here. Now this front's going to move more to the east. A huge cold outbreak coming from Canada into the northeastern United States with record cold. To the west though, there's going to be more fronts next week and these are going to dive a little bit more to the south and bring us a better chance of rain by the time we get into later next week. Now let me show you this cold air outbreak and what's going on. We have one front right here. So this front though is not really diving down much this way. It's kind of going more here. It is going to clip through the Bahamas later today. So with that, that's not going to bring us much cooler weather over toward Jamaica, Cuba at all. But then there's another punch of colder air up here and look what happens. This, this is some record cold up here. They're going to have some wind chills up toward Maine. That's the Northeast United States of over 60 below low zero. That's going to be plunging in tonight. But you see how the cold air doesn't move all the way down to the south. It will be very close to uh, Bermuda. Bermuda, we're going to get a bit of a chill that will be moving in. Cooler weather for the Bahamas, but there's some of that Arctic air back toward the northeastern United States and eastern Canada as that plunges in. But as I mentioned, it'll be the next fronts back to the west that we'll be watching next week, kind of coming through the Gulf of Mexico, so a little bit closer, giving us a better chance of some rain. So we get a look at what's going on here across the uh, tropics and as we swing into the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, in the Atlantic. A higher chance of rain today. Now, there's no huge area of rain, but the rain chance is going to be picking up spotty showers over towards St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We had some yesterday. Grenada, Guyana, Suriname seeing some rain. And in Jamaica, better chance of rain. South side of Haiti by Jack Mel, uh, Boston Blue, better chance of some rain. Then we get back here, you see in the Gulf of Mexico, some of the uh, rain there. This is with a front that'll clip by later today in the Bahamas. So even Belize, Mexico, down through Honduras, some scattered showers tomorrow. So this is tomorrow at four o'clock and you see the rain chance in some areas picking up more so. Again, not all of us are going to get the rain, but a higher chance Belize, Guatemala, Mexico, uh, Western Cuba, near the Cayman Islands in Jamaica, south side of Haiti again, Puerto Rico tomorrow, scattered showers will be possible. Then swinging back anywhere from St. Lucia, Barbados, south through Trinidad and Tobago, and of course watching the rain in Suriname, Guyana, and some of the extra cloud cover. As we get toward Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, some scattered showers, St. Kitts and Nevis, we'll see the potential of a few. So as far as rain goes the next couple days. This is through tomorrow night. You see coastal Nicaragua, coastal sections of Costa Rica. Near Panama, we could get a couple spots of 50 millimeters or more of rain. So that's a couple inches of more. Same thing in Belize. And then as you get over toward uh, Cancun, Cozumel, seeing some of the scattered showers. Now, look at Trinidad and Tobago, right on the edge of some of the purple shading. So there could be some spots if it creeps up to the north of about three inches of rain or 75 millimeters of rain the next couple days. Parts of Suriname, Guyana, and near Trinidad in particular. And again, elsewhere, some spotty showers. And you see on Jamaica, it's not all of us are going to get rain. But if you do get a, a passing shower anywhere from 25 millimeters uh, and a little bit higher will be possible for some of us. And I know the cisterns need it. Uh, uh, you need it uh, for uh, farming and all that all that stuff with the uh, water shortage going on. So with that said, Trinidad and Tobago today, a 30% chance of a shower. But tomorrow, the rain chance bumps up to a 50% chance. Winds east at 32 kilometers an hour. Barbados, 29 degrees, staying on the breezy side. And of course, that means a few quick moving showers. Winds east at 40 kilometers an hour, which is nothing new. We have been breezy to windy. Jamaica, 84 degrees today. 40% chance, but tomorrow slightly higher, about a 50% chance of spotty showers anywhere from Montego Bay, Falmouth over toward uh, Kingston uh, tomorrow. Now, here are the seas, south central, especially uh, sections of the Caribbean, and you see the green shading three to four meters. So you're looking again over 10 plus feet. So just a heads up here as you get from Aruba back to the west. That's where the higher seas on the south side of uh, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica. And again, just offshore on the Caribbean side, uh, Panama and Costa Rica, some higher seas here. The Atlantic waters are choppier as well, especially as you get up north toward the Bahamas and Bermuda, because we have that front that I was talking about that will be moving by. Quick uh, look at our earthquake tracker. Two days ago, we had the earthquake just offshore of the Dominican Republic, uh, 5.0 in magnitude, another 5.0 in magnitude offshore of Guadalupe, Antigua, and Barbuda. Uh, again, fortunately, these uh, not seeing any reports of damage or anything like that. 
like that. But I do want to let you know I'll continue to monitor anything going on as far as uh, earthquakes are concerned. So a better chance of rain tomorrow for some of us, like we talked about. Caribbean and the Atlantic, we have those higher seas. Now next week, there should be two fronts moving through the United States, clipping by Mexico into the Gulf of Mexico. So those will get a little bit closer and I'll keep an eye on that rain outlook for some of us later next week. That is going to be going up and in the Caribbean, some gale warnings are up. That means winds of about, about 40 miles per hour, 60 kilometers uh, an hour or higher. Same thing in the Atlantic waters, Turks and Caicos north through the Bahamas, up through Bermuda, those gale warnings and even some storm warnings that are posted in the Atlantic water. So I'll monitor that. I'll watch the fronts for you. I'll keep you posted on everything we're seeing with the temperatures and that rain chance. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.